This is a supplement to this video. How to install the Quick Start external regular kit for Dodge Dresser Jeep Bypass. Alternator man here. I want to show you. Now this kit is our first kit. It's our ERCK FRM. It shows the alternator connected to two studs on the back of the alternator. Now since 99, since 99 they put a plug on the back of the alternator. And here's the original plug that they use. This was used in 99. And it shows the plug has a locking clip up at the top and then two pins go crossways but after 99 they went to a different style plug and a, and a modified driver this is the latest style plug that they have you notice the locking clips up on the top and the pins are vertical if you have this type of plug then you need our modified driver as well as our ERCK FRM kit and I'm going to go over those details right now Basically what we've got is an alternator here. And we're going to have it set up so you have to change the modified driver on it. This is going to be for ERCK FRM. Either 071, 081, or 091 kits. We're going to be working on the ERCK FRM. 071 on how to install it and what you have to do you get the ERCK kit plus you get the modified driver with it and I'm going to show you how to change that modified driver I, I've taken most of both sides of this so you can see it much easier what you do is you take the nuts off the back and then take the back cover off and then the driver and the brush hole assembly is right there and what you do is you have to take these two screws out here and there's two screws that hold the brush holder assembly to the driver. What you have to do is take those all out and take the driver brush hole assembly off the alternator. And the driver brush hole assembly is screwed together with screws. What you have to do is transfer that driver brush holder assembly over to the modified driver. And when you do that, you have to push the brushes back. The brushes are right here. You push those back. And you put either a toothpick or a pin through this little hole in the back of the in the brush holder. Once you push it down, hold that back. So what I've done is with the modified driver, I put a new brush holder on it. I didn't complete it. It's got only one screw in it. But it already has a pin through it. The pin is holding the brushes back. So what you do is, when you do this, you have to... Transfer the brush hole assembly from the original driver to the new modified driver and then screw the brush hole assembly to it. Run the screws back, run the brushes back, put a pin in it, then you put this on the alternator and then you bolt it back down. You're going to have to pull that pin out. When you pull the pin out, that drops the brushes in place. And then once you do that, you screw it all down and then you have to put your back cover on and then you're all set you change the driver once you bolt that on you chain it now there's two types of drivers for this nib and denzel this is our driver that comes out in 90 degree with a denzel there's also a driver that is a straight driver it come it would come out straight like this so instead of being 90 degree it's straight that's our ERCK FRM 081 kit. This one's our ERCK FRM 071 kit. Our other kit is for a totally different. These, these drivers are for Denso type alters. This setup is for Bosch alter. And you can tell the Bosch because Bosch, the brush holders molded right into it and you cannot take it apart. And I'll do a separate video on how to set this up on the Bosch. It's a Bosch 136 amp alternator that this goes on. So, 
You have to do this, do these drivers, then hook up the, the, the external regular kit like normal, and then you're all set. If you have any trouble with this, give me a call. We'll help you out. Thank you.